Good morning to you out in the world. Hey, we're talking today about transformation. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Today we're talking about transformation time. And I know we all hear this word transformation as you guys get here in the morning. I don't know what you guys are doing, but welcome, welcome to the show. First off, if something cool happened at about 9 o'clock today, I can't talk about till after 9 o'clock. About 9.20, you'll know about this thing. It's pretty big, man. It's kind of cool. It has to do with a, uh, a large social media platform in myself. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But today, we're going to talk about transformation time. What's up, Eddie Fox? How you doing, man? Look at him. Hey. Uh, so today, we're going to talk about something called transformation time. It's a thought that I have. Uh, around the idea of what we do to get to that next, uh, the next, uh, we'll call it echelon of life, the next place where we have the things that are a little bit different and better than what we have now. Because let's be honest, we all do want something more than we have now, and that's totally okay. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it, Eli. So, what what is it that we we want? I want you to think about that. Yeah, the people say all the time, like, oh, I I, you know, I want more. I think we find that in, in life, we typically know what we don't want. We don't always know what we really want. If you ask yourself yourself, like, what do I really want? I can tell you what I what I want to an extent. But I can easily tell you what I don't want in this life. Right? I can tell you what kind of levels of, of unhappiness I don't want to experience. I appreciate sunshine in the sea. I can tell you what kind of levels James West, what I don't want. I can tell you that I don't want uh, you know, people to rob me. I can tell you that I don't want to, uh, to lose sleep. I don't want to fall out of love with my wife. I don't want to uh, have an issue with my kids, right? Next level workspace, good morning to you. So Mel, my, what's up, Mel? Hey, man. Uh, he says, and they on a beach Run. Yeah, we should, we should go do run a little beach run. I'm down. I'm down for a beach run one of these days. But listen to this. So I want to talk about what people are missing out on and what people are, are honestly, they're, they're kind of avoiding when it comes to that next level of life. Because if you want something, we got to go get it, right? And so there's something we do, we don't typically do it. We're not used to doing that. We have to do to go get that. And what I call it is transformation. We all, we all know it's transformation. We think about the person you used to be when you weren't happy, right? When you were unhappy, unsuccessful, you didn't have certain things, who was that person? And you can honestly look in your head and go, you know what? Man, I was a different person back then. I've noticed that in my own life, that if I look back at different times in my life, I was always like a different kind of guy. So good, he says, uh, the Michaela, how are you? I'm working toward my goals. I appreciate it, man. Oh, the Mike, um, the Mike Ayala, the Mike Ayala. I said it wrong, my man, my apologies. But here's the thing, I think we all fall short of the comprehension that we were a different person back then. We thought differently, right? We processed differently. We, we had different friends, we had different likes, we had different dislikes, different desires, different dreams. We had different perspectives on the entire world we live in back then. Now, I don't know when back then was, but I want you to think about a back then moment. And even if you just take it far back to a place you know when you were 13, what you thought was cool, you will not wear those clothes anymore and get that haircut, right? There's a time when you can go back and go, yeah, I was, I was somebody different back then. Good morning, Jamie Pearson. How are you, Angela Kamstra, Simone Kerr? How are you? So think about that. If we know for sure that at some point in the past when I was less successful, less happy, I could go back and I could say, you know, I was a different person back then. What is that going to be five years from now? Think about it. who are you going to be talking about today, five years from now? And it's a true question I'm actually asking you. If you fast forward five years from now and look back at this moment right now and say, hey, I'm living in this world with endless information, an abundance of connection and network and insights and books and courses and, and everything I can take, who am I going to be looking back on today? And the truth of the matter is it should be somebody better. Let's be real. Like it, if you want to have more, you got to be more as a human. And I think some people fail to comprehend that we've already done this thing. We've already got to the point of transforming to a certain extent or you wouldn't be here right now. And if you get to the next level of your life and look back at more requests, if you look back and go, you know what? Uh, I'm the same person. Then there's a problem with that. I've been on this week, Nicole says. I got a thought today. I got a heart today. man. We've been, we've been working in the background. I got some cool things coming. But I want you to press into that perspective and go, if I look back at myself five years from now, who have I transformed into? That's a question you should actually ask yourself and then, and then extrapolate that backwards and go, if I'm saying I'm the person that easily gets up and does this workout, that easily makes these programs, that easily sells my product, that easily makes this money, easily whatever, has this great, amazing marriage, whatever that is, who do you have to transform into to have that? Seriously, what do you have to learn, do, take action towards, what habits do you got to build? And it should start now. And that doesn't mean you do everything today. It doesn't mean everything immediately kicks up and like, I'm going to do all 70 things today. That's unrealistic. But I think that we, un unfortunately, like, go through this process 
of just moving and, and assuming that it's going to happen. And I don't believe it does, man. I think sometimes some things may happen because we're we're thinking that direction. Are we we can, you know, kind of manifest certain things because we perceive it all day long in our head and our subconscious brain just keeps going in that direction. Yes. But for the majority of us and the majority of people, even the majority of areas in your life is going to be stuff that takes a conscious thought and action to transform into. To where when you look back at this person right now you can go, "Man, that person Man, they were they didn't think as high as I do right now. They didn't they don't perceive as high as I do. They don't they don't, you know, goals as high as I do right now. And it's not to say there's something wrong with you right now at all. This is the progression of life. That's why people who are typically older have a little bit more wisdom. They've been through life. It's not a bad thing. It's a progression. But the progression kids can be something that happens accidentally and it kind of goes like this or you can choose to go like this. Right. And the thing is, is when you choose to go like this, these years that are being passed, the years that are honestly being lived, there's vastly more in those years, vastly more. And I believe that as life goes forward, we should choose to live vastly more in our lives. And it's not a matter of who you know, what network you have is what you're willing to do and say and reach into and who you're willing to transform into that lives this life every day. Mel says, I'm older. We know you're older, man, but you Mel did this. Mel's the fluent entrepreneur. You want to figure out how to figure like make money and, and keep money? Go check out Mel Abraham 9. So the idea I want you to think about today is, is it transformation time or not for you? It's a question. I'm leaving for you to answer the rest of this day. I'm not going to go super deep, deep, deep on this. You guys get the concept. But is it transformation time or are you going to stay at the same pace and trajectory you are right now and hope that all of a sudden later on things come to pass? The future is not some magical place where success lives. The future is a magical place, but it also has a lack of success and regret and failure. The only difference is what you choose to do between now and that future. And if you make a choice to transform, what must you do and say and who must you be around? What must you stop accepting and start putting into your life, even though it's a little bit scary, to transform into that person a little bit more every day? Because that is exactly how you get to that level. It's not by accident. It's not by hoping and guessing. It's saying, I'm going to choose right now to transform into that person a little bit. And here's a little metaphor. Those of you guys who might know that the TV show and the cartoons and, and the actual movies, I, I love the Transformers, man. I wish Michael Bay would make more movies. Shia LaBeouf's a good actor. I'm not going to lie. The dude is weird. He is cuckoo beans, but the dude's a great actor. He can get into character, man. He goes. But I want you to think about this Transformer. Now, Transformer. Think about conceptually, what, what's like the most famous one, I think? We got two of them, I believe. You got Bumblebee and Optimus Prime, two of the most famous. Now, Bumblebee is the one that they actually made a Camaro, a production Camaro off of his design that was a prototype, right? Think about this. Now, what's unique about it? Well, the Camaro is already fresh, man. It looks nice. It's a good-looking Camaro. It's a beautiful vehicle. But here's the unique thing. Inside that Camaro, inside of this beautiful vehicle, let's say you're the beautiful vehicle, there is an ability to transform into something vastly more powerful. Something that can fly, that can jump, that can shoot things. It can take on opposition, no problem. It can tackle the, uh, the Decepticons as an Autobot, right? The idea is to say inside this already beautiful vehicle and this entity, inside of it exists something greater and grander than you can see with your own eyes. And I'm telling you this right now because I need you to hear that inside of you, truthfully, there's something bigger and grander and greater inside of what you are right now. Yes, you're beautiful right now. You're amazing right now. There's nothing, I'm not taking anything from that. But I want you to grasp there is something greater and grander and var, very, very beautiful inside of you that you haven't ventured into seeing just yet. If you, if you watch the beginning of that whole series, the very first one, the kid was freaked out because he was like a, a, a Volkswagen bug. And they all of a sudden inside this crazy new thing birthed out of it that was Bumblebee, right? And it's this thing where sometimes we don't, man, we don't get it. And I want you to get this. If I give you any seed today that grows into a thought that can plant into actions that can change your life, starting today, it's that inside of you is something greater and grander, but it's not going to come out unless you choose to transform into it. That's it. Your choice. Not my words, not mom, sister, cousin, brother, not, no. You got to go back and go, you know what? I want more. It's time for more. Like I need to get a little bit more inside of me, pulled out of me so I can expand that amazing thing that can take on far more in life. So if you take nothing from today, take this. The future's not going to happen accidentally. It's going to happen. But what comes of it is based on what you choose to do right now. What choice you choose to make right now and how you choose to transform yourself to transform your life. 
Change who you are and change what's outside. So that's my message for you today. I truly hope that it hits in some compassionate, heartfelt way. I hope you understand where this is coming from because it's just coming from a heart of people I get to talk to and have messages from every day. I think about you. I think about you often. You may not know this, but I genuinely spend my days in this chair, lean back thinking about you. Because at the end of the day, you are a soul, you are a heart, and if I can do even one small thing to impact the life that is yours, to make you better in some way, and I honestly may never meet you in real life. I realize that, I would love to, but I may never. But knowing that in some way these words hit your heart and impact your soul like that matters to me. And so my transformation hopefully leads to your transformation. So that's what I'll leave you with today. It's time to transform. It's time to see what is inside of you and bring it out to the world so we can all experience it. Outside of that, take care. God bless you, and I will see you on Friday. All right.